Thank you for purchasing your new Namco floor washing machine. In this video, we will go over assembly, operation, maintenance, and troubleshooting. When you receive your floor washing machine, it will come in three parts. The first part is the handle. followed by the water tank, user's manual, and finally the base. First remove the bubble wrap protection from your machine. Unbox the handle. and unwrap the water tank. To assemble your Namco floor wash machine, simply take the handle, insert it into the base, decompress the button until you hear a click. Next, you will attach the water tank to the handle the same way. Decompress the button until your desired height is reached. There are three different height options. Next, take your water hose and attach it to the water tank. And it's important to make sure that the nozzle is fully tightened on the water tank. Lastly, take your power cord and insert it to the groove at the top of the machine. To do this, you simply press the cord into the groove. And that is a fully assembled Namco floor wash machine. In this section of the video, we will cover proper operation of the Namco floor wash machine. First, place clean water into the water tank. This can be done in one of two ways. First, remove the lid, bring an external source of water to the machine, and place water into the water tank. The second option, remove the power cord from the groove, remove the water hose from the nozzle, and remove the tank from the handle of the machine. You can carry your tank to a sink or other source of water and place water into the tank. Once water is in your tank, reconnect the water tank to the handle, reconnect the water hose to the nozzle, and place the power cord back in the groove located at the base of the handle. Now you are ready to use your floor wash machine. To activate the floor wash machine, use your foot to press down on the lever located on the right hand side of the machine. Pull back on the handle assembly and the motor will activate. While cleaning with the machine, press down on the trigger to release water onto the brushes while you're moving in the forward motion. Release the trigger as you're moving backwards to recover all the water. To turn off the machine, lift up on the nozzle and the motor will turn off. While in use or in the upright position, you can inspect the transparent recovery tank to make sure that the tank is not full. If the height of the dirty water has reached this top line, your tank is full and needs to be emptied. To empty the tank, use two hands to lift up the lid, pull out the recovery tank and dispose of it either in a sink or a floor drain. Reinsert the tank to the machine, close the lid, and continue cleaning. If you are finished cleaning, it is important to make sure that the recovery tank is emptied and cleaned out and the clean water tank is also emptied. In this section of the video, we will cover proper maintenance of your Namco floor wash machine. Before performing any maintenance, it is important to disconnect the machine from a power source. First, remove the lid from the floor wash machine. To remove the lid, disconnect the water hose from the nozzle. Use this pin, pull out, tilt at a 45 degree angle, and pull out the lid. Once your lid is disconnected, you can use a wet rag to clean off the lid assembly. It is important to inspect the nozzles and clean the nozzles. 
If you notice any of the nozzles are clogged, use a safety pin or other small object to clear out the orifices. Remove the recovery tank and inspect the brushes. On the floor wash machine there are two brushes. The larger brush is located in the front. To remove the brush, push on the pin Remove the pin from the machine and remove the brush. Once your brush is removed, inspect it for any dirt and hair and remove with a wet cloth if necessary. On every brush there is a red bristle to indicate the lifespan of your brush. If the bristles are at the height of the red brush, it's time to replace your brush. When your brush is removed, inspect the area where the brushes connect. If you notice there is a lot of dirt and debris, use a wet cloth to clean these areas. For the back brush, do the exact same thing. Press on the pin. Remove the pin from the other side. Tilt the machine forward and pull out the brush. This brush also has a red indicator, so you know when to replace your brush. Again, inspect the area where that brush connects and clean with a wet brush, if, a wet rag if necessary. Also, inspect the roller and clean if necessary. To reconnect the brushes, you want to use the large side on the right hand side of the machine. Insert at a 45 degree angle, place the larger pin back into the machine, make sure that the pin is lined up properly, and you'll hear it lock into place. The same process is done for the small brush located in the back. Once your brushes are reconnected, place the recovery tank back into the machine. Place the plastic tab into the left hand side of the machine first. Pull back on the metal tab and line it back up. Close the lid and reconnect your water hose to the nozzle. In this section of the video we will cover troubleshooting techniques for the NAPCO floor wash machine. On a carpeted surface, when you activate your machine, if you notice that the motor is running but the brushes are not rotating, it's most likely that the brushes in the carpet are pinched. To unpinch the brushes from the carpet, simply lift up on the machine and the brushes will be freed. If you notice that your floor wash machine is not recovering water, lift up the lid and inspect the roller. Most often, this seam where the recovery tank meets the roller has a dirt buildup or hair buildup. Simply remove the recovery tank, clean off the roller, clean off the lip of the recovery tank, place the recovery tank back into the machine, close the lid, and continue cleaning. Lastly, thank you for purchasing your Namco floor wash machine. Remember to always store it in the locked upright position. And if you have any further questions, please refer to the user manual. If you would like to contact us, our contact information is on the back of the manual.